Nancy and David, Eric Davis, Hey to See, Airstream. Going to do a quick walk around on a 23. Tell you a little bit about um, what this one stacks up to be. I know that you haven't stepped foot inside one, so I'm going to step two feet inside one and we're going to take a look. Uh, we're going to start up front with what separates this company from kind of everybody else out there. First of all, Letting the light in, panoramic windows all the way around, they wrap around the front of you. What that gives you is certainly, uh, if you look at any other travel trailer dealer out there, they don't put windows in the front. And on a 23 foot platform, they have windows coming in. And, and the way that they do that is with Lexan. Lexan protection over, and by the way, this locks in the position which gives you this great little, uh, if you will, awning. All the windows in an Airstream are all tempered glass, and they're all buck riveted. Uh, but what that does is really gives you the opportunity that not only the UV protection, but letting the light in. And they all lock into place, which is really kind of cool. Now, what else is cool? Stainless steel. This is all about the protection. What this is is stainless steel to prevent against any road debris. The great thing about the stainless steel that it can be polished or buffed out. The actual aluminum of the Airstream cannot be. Uh, notice please, you have a piano hinge all the way down here so that you can pivot the rock guards out so that you can have access to cleaning the unit. Kind of cool. Now, 23 footer has twin 30 pound propane tanks. Uh, 60 pounds of propane. Uh, that's a lot of propane and it gives you certainly that opportunity to go off-grid uh, for you know you want to you want to take showers you want to cook you want to do all that fun stuff you got propane uh, what's great in the flying cloud and the uh, international series that you got the brushed aluminum you have access to dual propane tanks automatic switch over what else is kind of cool you have a propane quick disconnect uh, valve in front. What that does is gives you the opportunity to quickly plug in a gas grill uh, space heater, additional propane source. So it's really kind of, uh, it, it's, it's at your fingertips and it makes sense. Now, what else we got? You've got the Barker system here. This is your leveling, this is your hitch jack. This is a system which is never fails and what's great about it is that yeah, you can level your trailer from this, and if you want to, you can even crank your trailer. But the point about this system is, is that it's one of the best systems on the market, and this is how you level your Airstream, and it just makes it whole, it makes it an ease of operation. What also happens in an Airstream is your twin, you have twin dual 12 volt batteries and a quick uh, drop down um, sleeve for your undermount uh, tire. What's great about having a spare tire underneath is number one, no UV rays. Number two, no one knows where it is so they can't get to it. And when you do utilize it, it it's in a cradle you just lift it out. But really the great thing about me talking about the spare tire is I don't know why you would want to use it because uh, you've got a dual axle. And the other thing is you have CoachNet service, two-year warranty, two-year, 24-7 roadside assistance. It makes that whole opportunity uh, to own an Airstream, a new Airstream, more common sense. Come on around. Tempered glass, buck riveting all the way around. These are all radius windows made at the Airstream factory. In the sports series, they're manufactured by an outside source and they're not radius windows. Then you have a lockable pot of, for your potable water, lockable resource. By the way, Nancy, David, I have a key that will open every travel trailer on the planet. I can go into a, I don't know, an RV park and say hello to everybody. But the point is, these, key, these Airstreams are all individually key, as is the uh, resource for the water. Now, some fun things about Airstream, you have this Fun little LED lamp on your 30 amp service connection. What that does is tells you that your outside resource is plugged in. If that's not illuminated, you know that it's not your Airstream. 
it's got to be that outside source as far as the power. These are small details that Airstream pays attention to. By the way, storage. This is where it first presents. This is where you store your sewer hose. So you are not storing it within the actual confines of the travel trailer. Also, you have ball jacks. These are drop-down jack system, which stabilize the entire travel trailer. Makes it uh, completely stable. Now, this is where we get into the guts of the thing. Dual axles. Dual axle on an Airstream, along with, you have a uh, shock absorber system. What this really means, uh, I, I guess I'll explain it this way. My grandpa lived in West Palm. Uh, my dad, instead of putting us in a car, put us in the trailer. I've got thousands of miles inside an Airstream. I know what a dual axle means. I know what that independent, it's called rubber torsion bar axle system means. Literally what they do is they freeze rubber in nitrogen, it collapses. They invert an axle all the way through. When it expands, that axle actually floats, giving you four wheel independent suspension and we talked about no lube hubs, never adjust brakes, independent four wheel suspension. Uh, it's just the best ride down the road. By the way, the water tank located in between the axles means that Airstream will tell you, bring on the water. Um, it actually, because 70% of the weight of this vehicle is from the floor level down, that makes all the sense in the world. Now, fun stuff. First of all, outdoor shower. Hot and cold running water. Uh, let's wash the grandkids, the dogs, grandma, anybody we want to wash with hot water and cold water. Um, an outside shower is a bonus. Coming out of the lake, it's just fun stuff. Then you have your inlet port for your city water connection. What's great about Airstream is there is an interior regulator. The regulator, what that does is allows you to, you don't have to worry about the power or the PSI of the water that's coming in. You're not gonna blow any gaskets. It's internal. Then this is the golden thing right here. What this is is a black water flush system. Your sewer is right here. You have LED lighting. Gray water, black water, it's kind of self-explanatory. Um, you flush the system with the, with the, you pull the black, you flush with the gray, then you come back to your black water flush. Picture, if you will, an umbrella turning and spitting out water in those tines at high power. And what that does is that washes out that entire black water system. Clean hands, I like clean hands. And on a small platform like this, that is a luxury. Uh, so obviously nicely done. By the way, this is all about letting the light in. This is what I love about Airstream, the buck riveting, uh, the beautiful portal windows. Uh, I'm gonna stop here and point something out. This is LED lighting, doesn't get hot, all that. All of the exterior running lights are all LED. All of the interior lights are LED. In the sport system, they're interior incandescent. So when you move to the Flying Cloud or International Series, you have all LED lighting. Uh, doesn't use power. You can run off batteries better with the LED light. Plus, we can make them light all the time, so it's pretty. Come on around. So we want you to live riveted. Now, this is the International Series. Oh, you talked about a bike rack. The bike rack for this system mounts on either side of what is the trunk. You have a uh, diamond plate interior trunk system. The bike rack actually comes off the exterior sides of the bumper and mounts just under the window rail. So what's great about that is you still have access to your trunk, all of the stuff that you need to get to, which is the beautiful thing. And also, let's mention it one more time, the LED lights which means uses less power, uh, interior lighting is all LED, cool to the touch, going to be around a lot longer than you and I. Let's see what's on the other side. Okay, the awning. Uh, Nancy, you're probably five foot tall and weigh uh, five pounds. I don't know. You could do this awning in about five minutes. It is fully adjustable. It has, it has various positions. It is the same manufacturer that's producing this awning for Airstream since the mid-60s and the design has not changed. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
you have a lot of access ports in, in an Airstream. These are all LED lit on the interior. Notice how not only do you have the diamond plate interiors, but the, the insulation on these exceeds the insulation on the actual travel trailer, which by the way is Echo Bat. It's all green, uh, but it's also an R Factor 8, meaning this, I believe, is the only four season travel trailer on the market, period. Uh, that's, that's how Airstream rolls. That is how it is produced. Uh, the best of the best. Now, all of this light that pours into the Airstream, which is all about these radius tempered glass windows, buck riveting. But you want to know what Airstream is about. Probably this is a great place to figure it out. Notice, please, these forged aluminum uh, hinges that go to a uh, screen door system. You have, of course, the people protector, the kid and the dog protector, fully welded aluminum frame. And this is how an Airstream works. That's the screen door. And then check this out. This is all radius. It's built very similar to an aircraft. This door takes Airstream eight hours to manufacture. There are travel trailers, which we have on our lot, that are completed in eight hours. Airstream is just finishing a door. Notice how the opaque glass lets more light went in. But when you close the door on an Airstream, uh, that is really the sound of quality. Also, it captures the screen door when it is closed and locks into position. That alone probably tells a little story about what Airstream is all about. Come on in, let me show now, you Now when you walk into the 23, what I love is all the controls are at your fingertips. So we haven't even entered the, uh, we have all of our exterior and interior lighting here. We have uh, your battery disconnect. So, if you're off the planet, you leave the exterior light on so you can find your keys. You come in, you have all of your interior lighting at your fingertips as you walk in. And then the first thing that, you, that appears is your coat closet. And of course, we got this fun little beautiful uh, uh, dry erase board. Welcome to Hadesy. Um, and notice, please, the uh, cabinetry. This is all done in flow coat polyester. Uh, Asian sand um, maple. It's got that depth to it. Uh, certainly everything is brushed steel as you enter. But this is just, we have, we've only made it to the mud room. So this is really what presents as beautiful. Let's take a look at this platform. As you walk into the 23, some certain, there's some things that catch your eye like the beautiful espresso leather uh, upholstery. Certainly this beautiful cabinetry. Things that present the, uh, this is a Serenity version, so it kind of has that Asian influence. Notice please, brush steel or brush nickel hardware into a lavatory that is impressive. First of all, what I love about this is number one, it gives you plenty of room to change your socks. You have the porcelain uh, pedestal toilet. You've got the Wilson Art laminate table uh, tops. You've got the brushed uh, steel, stainless, mowing and growy uh, appliances. And then you have a beautiful walk-in pebbled glass shower with overhead um, venting. And once again, LED lighting with uh, brushed steel and the ocean air. Uh, these shades are great because this gives you the ability to close out the world and uh, uh, in very in this lovely uh, brushed aluminum elegance. So once again, the the bathroom, the bathroom of the uh, 23 is big. Now the galley of the 23 really is rather extensive. Um, certainly, what catches your eyes the beautiful porthole windows, the um, uh, in this case the growy uh, faucet. You have uh, a cutting board uh, that is also gives you the access to the deep well stainless steel um, sink. All of the countertops are Corian. So obviously that's just absolutely stunning as you see just the initial setup. Now as far as the galley itself, you have some beautiful touches. Fully adjustable rack system on the interior which allows you to store all those wonderful canned goods. Overhead access. 
Then we move to the storage, which is done in, in grass cloth, which is backlit. Absolutely beautiful in its, in its look. Let's move then to, you have a European uh, vent fan here. But what's great about this vent is it vents outside so it takes all that heat out, but it also gives you access to the entire cabinet. So that really is great design, but also a beautiful look. Then you have a stainless steel cover, which releases then for a high output three burner range. Now in the case of this unit, we have the, uh, the oven, which you'll see. Then let's talk about storage. This just opens up into all forms of beautiful side-mounted steel ride doors, European hardware, um, and once again, plenty of storage moving into, so we have the entire galley moving to a Dometic refrigerator freezer done in brushed steel to an overhead microwave. So I tell you what, Nancy, David, I like to cook. So I got a great galley here with a lot of stuff. I've got not only microwave, I've got oven, I've got refrigerator, freezer. I mean the galley setup along with the beautiful copper to Corian to Asian sand uh, uh, wood is just beautifully done. The dinette setting in the, um, in the 23 is, to me, it's spectacular. First of all, you've got the dual radius windows, a lot, lot of light dumping in. Immediately you have a beautiful amount of overhead storage. Entertainment, entertainment comes to us through Pioneer here with a DVD, CD system. But also I want to point out that you have that additional inverted outlet system. That allows this unit to run off of, it takes that battery power, turns it into 110 power. So if you are at a, um, a rest area, you can run off, let's run everything. All the lights, all the entertainment, the TVs, everything fired up because we can convert that battery power into 110. We can plug a computer in, we can do all sorts of fun stuff. Now, this is the other thing that I love. This is a, a beautiful system here. This dinette pivots every which way. So what that means is, I'm a computer guy. If I want this to be my computer workstation, I pivot and I move it into place. So now I have my computer desk. It's on a gas cylinder mechanism that allows it to collapse. So this certainly becomes that sleeper for two people. But I gotta tell you, Nancy David, I'm a big guy, and guess what? When I'm sliding in for dinner, guess how I'm sliding in? I got plenty of room. It pivots back into place, and then of course you can lock it for travel, but it just makes for a beautiful ease of operation. You have undermount LEDs, backlit LEDs, overhead LEDs, and then of course you certainly have plenty of power from a 13,000.5 BTU AC unit that dumps air everywhere you need to, but also on this unit are dual fantastic fans. So air moving through the 23 becomes kind of uh, easy. Let's check out the master bedroom. Okay, in an Airstream, this allows us to separate ourselves from the, uh, the rest of the platform. So if you do have guests, even in a small 23 foot platform, it still allows a sense of privacy. Then check out the wardrobe. I have got, uh, oh, and by the way, we've got LED lighting in here. Plenty of room for all of our stuff. We've got lower storage and also that European uh, hinge system. Now, I want to just point out, yeah, we've got, we've got this HD LED TV. By the way, where I'm standing right now, we're in a metal building. Uh, we don't have the antenna up, and I am pulling in 23 different stations. So... We know that we get great reception uh, from these HD LED TVs. Now, in the deck itself, when we walk into the master bedroom, I want to point out the fit you have fantastic fans both fore and aft, pulling tens of thousands of cubic feet of air. You also have the ability to do uh, some fun things with light, accenting the light. But notice, please, and by the way, all these beautiful pillows come with. Now, what we have here is a walk-around queen bed storage. Please notice you've got overhead storage. You've got 
What I think is the coolest thing is the undermount storage. And then you have additional wardrobe storage with chest of drawers underneath. And notice please in the in this setting you have those panoramic windows, cross ventilation windows, overhead fan with air moving through the space and you have a little nightstand which is uh, uh, wired for electric so the setup in the master bedroom is really cool because I think Nancy you mentioned sometimes somebody gets up in the middle of the night somebody gets up early this way we're walking around I can move while something not bothering whoever is with so uh, by the way I don't want to miss pointing out the reading lamps they are LED reading lamps that will give you access to uh, all that fun stuff. And then you have the Dometic um, system, which is your climate control system for controlling your heating and your cooling. Uh, does it get any better than the 23? Maybe not. Nancy, David wanted to uh, thank you for reaching out to Hey to See. Um, I have just done a quick pass on the 23. There's a lot to learn. I know there's stuff you want to see. I just thought I would show you because I alluded to, Nancy, the dual axle, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, but uh, obviously I want you to at least get a sense of what Airstream is all about because there's a couple of th prerequisites that I have I need for you to uh, enjoy the journey, uh, most of all. But then again, we must all tell everyone to Make sure they have happy camping.